Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. This is Tayman2037, and it has been, i say, almost a year since I last recorded. And I've just been busy. I, I had college. That, that took a lot of time. Uh, also, it doesn't help that I don't really have any suitable games to play right now. I don't really want to tackle any huge epic games that I probably know I won't finish. Like, what if I have? I've had Sims. Can't really do much with that. So I mean, who knows if I'll play through Donkey Kong Country 2 all the way. I just want to get something on there. And right now, um, I def I love the city. Even you know, some of my friends are gone, I still love the city. I'll still be getting an education. I'll try to get involved in school. Save a lot of money. On I'll be staying at home. And it gets a little bit tougher now. His jumps are aren't as high. He's got a. It's really it's still pretty easy stuff. And should just be a couple more shots. This is probably said this before, but this is one of the best games ever made. Oh, no, not not quite. Even if I haven't really beat it totally. See, now his jumps get less and less spread apart. Alright, now we beat him, and... Aw, oh, shit. Apparently the last barrel had more TNT packed into it. Otherwise, it would beat him much before. Alright, so now we're going to Crazy Kremlin. This is when this game really starts ramping up the difficulty a little. Aw, oh, shit. Well, that was a mistake. I got a. I have not played around with the emula <laughs> with the emulator in a long time. I just got the the PS3 controller working again. All right, so that's safe stating. See, I was trying to figure out how to throw my Kong, and I accidentally hit the lo the load stay save state button. So that was that was kind of dumb. All right, well, we didn't lose too much. We just lost one by boss battle. And it'll just take a couple minutes. Gotta watch my time limit though. That 15 minute cap that YouTube has. You know, because apparently they're so low on money where they can't allow longer cap. What the advertisements, I bet everyone's talking about those. Those are bullshit. It's kind of funny because I had to watch. I had to watch an advertisement before watching a movie trailer, which was which is essentially an advertisement. Which is ridiculous. I just, I just take it. I just grin and bear it. I mean, we're, we're in a society of capitalism. What can I say? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're good there. Yeah, I've just, I've just really got into gaming more recently. I mean, I didn't really play much in college. I really couldn't. I had two roommates who would just would never get the fuck to bed. Stayed up to like 4 a.m. Just fine. I mean, they're cool people. I'll just kind of, I'm this kind of person that just does not. Okay, which? Okay, that's the left one. The left one saves the, the right one. Okay, just testing that out. Save thing is really nice in platforming games, even if you know they're not really necessary. Okay, that's the. Switch Kong. Okay, there we go. Circle. That's what I signed it to. I mean, I'm sure there's better Let's Plays out there of this game. Oh yeah, that's one thing. If, if any of you have played the, Donkey, the Game Boy Advance port of this game, that game lets you helicopter twirl off the honey. In this game, they don't, which makes it notably hard, hard, harder. I mean, not just in the B levels, but it's, it's a significant change. You gotta be a lot more careful on there. Can't just rely on Dixie the whole time. Yeah, when, so I couldn't really game in college. I just pretty much played DS games that I'd already played. Well, for some reason, I just didn't want to commit to playing like whole new games. But now I'm kind of finally past that. I mean, I, I got home from from college and I started playing through Borderlands. Borrowed that for a friend. That was a really, really good game. Sunk 25 hours into that. I say I got my money's worth. 
Some people say it's a little repetitive, but I just think it's really fun to shoot. The leveling up is really satisfying. And then I got the DLC. I got the get. Oh, sweet. I thought I would die there. I got the Game of the Year edition, but at least like, as soon as I got that, I got into Oblivion. Which is another really good game. Put 60 hours into that and figured I beat the Dark Brotherhood, I beat the. Yeah, I beat the Thieves Guild, beat the Fighters Guild. I think I got really far through the Mages Guild, but that's when I put that 60 hours in. I didn't actually beat the story at all. I, I did none of the story besides the beginning. And then started playing. I put Just Cause 2, I started playing. Just really, I've just really been into those big epic games, kind of sandbox ish. Borderlands not really a sandbox, but still a pretty big game, pretty big game areas. Oblivion, obviously, kind of a sandbox. I'm going to call it a modern sandbox. Okay, now I just gotta get these controls down for the spider. Okay. And then, yeah, Just Cause 2, that's a really fun game. Blow shit up. I, I cannot believe just how gigantic that game is. I mean, if you look at the map, like it's just unbelievable how much you can do off the map and how much there, how much is there. This is like a nice Efron game. It has some minor flaws, but enough where it's a, an issue. Where it, it could be like a, a good nine, nine and a half score game if they just like improve some things. Instead, it's just a eight and a half, I'd say, maybe eight. It's still a lot of fun, but just a lot of stuff they can improve. Here we have some obvious bananas that will lead us up to, oh, not a bonus area. Maybe over here? No, I don't think so. Do a save state there. This is a lot, I'll, I'll probably maybe do a lot more emulator ones, especially if I can get my, like, emulator LPs, if I can get the, the, the control stick on the PS3 controller working. I don't really know how to get that to work. All I have... Oh shit, can't go down there. Oh, damn it, get on the fucking spider. All I have right now is a... What the fuck? All I have right now is a, is a buttons and the not stick. So, I can't really do any 64 emulating. I'll probably be tough anyway. Oh shit. Okay, that's to get back up. So just need to do some Super Nintendo games I like. See, if, I mean those are a lot shorter. Two. And if I do it, I mean if I, when I hook up to the console, I gotta hook up my my screen capture thing. Like connect, record in the TV, and then I gotta record my. What else do I gotta do? Re hook up my microphone, and then I gotta sync that. Like once I get in the video, and if there's a chance that the recording thing won't, will just stop working. I mean, I, I have, like, the next part of banjo Tui recording, except I lost, I'd say, maybe about a fourth of it, because my friend and I just didn't notice that it totally stopped recording. And then since then, it's been just kind of a pain. It's kind of hard to go back and do stuff when I've already got, when I've lost a chunk of the stuff, even though I've gotten the, the jiggies in that game. I don't want to go back and just skip all that stuff. Besides, I've done a lot of the game. Either either satisfied or not, because I'm kind of terrible at this. Although, I'm, I'm doing a lot better right now. Oh, there's another thing. Because I just don't know how to talk sometimes enough. And it's just a bunch of lols. But I think right now I'm finding... Because people don't watch... People don't usually watch to, for a walkthrough, I'd say. They usually know what games... Like, they, they know the games they're going to watch. But maybe that's just me. Maybe people are totally different. Maybe you're really interested in this 20-year-old game. Ah, oh, shit. My screensaver went on. Save state. Got the G there. Missed a letter. Probably said this earlier, but I don't know how much completion I'm going to do in this game. I got, wow, I didn't even get all the bonus levels. 
See, I just don't know the game that well. I never played through it that much as a kid, where I knew where all the bonus world are. Bonus stages. I mean, I know where the... I know where a lot of the DK coins are, but it's not all the bonus coins, so if you're looking for like a 108%, you know, it only goes up to 103 in this game, I'm pretty sure. You're not going to be getting that, I'm afraid. In fact, I've never even beaten the final boss, because I've never found it worth it, because it's kind of tough. And the game does kind of suck ass in a good way, as in it's tough and challenging. Towards the end, Screech's sprint can just go fuck itself. I've tried animal antics and almost got through the fucking windy brambles. Holy shit. Wow, that was... See, I'm not even used to the safe dating there, because I just saved it right when I died. Can I... do I have fast forward assigned on here? I'm not entirely sure, in fact, except I'm not really sure how to access the menu of ZSNES right now. But it's not like I'm playing a ROM hack, so who cares. Just save, just load, alright. Yeah, if I was going to play through ROM hacks, then I'd probably need to learn how to save state properly and fast forward and rewind. But just straight straight playing through Donkey Kong Country 2 unaltered. Do not need to edit anything. Game's kind of chucking a little, I don't... or maybe that's just me. Alright, there we go. You can't helicopter troll out of the thing, which... Makes sense because you gotta stay the normal speed as, as, a, as a fuck. What's it called? A mine cart. That's a bit tough to get to. Yeah. So in case you care about hearing any more about my life, from obviously I said from Minot, North Dakota, you might have heard on the news about all the flooding that's gone on, which is just ridiculous. I'm very lucky enough to be located on the south side of town, which is on a hill. It's like a large hill. There's like, there's south hill, north hill, and then there's a valley in between, obviously, between two hills. That's where the flooding happened, because rivers usually run through valleys, and it was just... I can't describe it. I mean, it's the highest the, the river's ever been in Minot's history by four feet. Three or four feet. All I could do is watch on TV. My friend's been staying with me, Lord Rokosh, who's done some StarCraft, he's done some recording with me, like, back when we were recording. Hopefully we can... God damn it. And, see, this is why I need to save state more. If I play ROM hack, I'll get used to save stating all the time, but right now I'm just used to being good at the game. And not just have, not having to need to save state. Oh well, didn't lose much there again. All right. Well, I'm getting close to the cap. I can probably cut some, cut some stuff at the beginning, or eh, we'll see what happens. See if I can beat the game. Well, the level. If not, we'll see if YouTube busts me upload if it's a little longer. Well, there's N. I think it could be like 1559 technically. There's the button. Trying to F this up. Actually made the jump that time. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it in the in the time limit if I wasn't an idiot. And like accidentally messed up at the beginning. Or I just so I really like the level design in Donkey Kong Country 2, because it it takes it gives you an element. And it just it does it really easy. Like the element was barrels, and now it just like the hitting barrels to move through the cars, and then it just gets a little progressively harder as it goes on. And alright, well, that's all the time I have right now, about to hang on the 60 minute mark. So I'll get this uploaded, and hopefully I can start recording the videos again. And thanks for watching. See you later.